that person that once was me, I am none of these things. Not asteroid, not star, not angel. I've become something else. I'm just another once upon a time, another quick crack, another quiet that is kept, another invisible man or perhaps woman. Just another voice without a mouth, another consciousness without a human body, another story pulsing in intermittent light amongst the galaxy. I am floating, but wouldn't you like to be me? For what is more human than this? The desire to escape the troubled earth and its depressing gravity? What is more human than the desire to rise above it all? To fly. Yes. This is August Town by Kai Miller. I talked briefly about this in the previous video, but I'm going to tell you it was a five star for me. This story was had all kind of emotion. There were moments when I laughed so hard. There were moments when I was sad. And there was moments where I, I had to pause and absorb what the tragic moment that occurred and how the message is, is supposed to be taken from all that was going on. And, um, but I enjoyed it. This is a story in several characters, but they all are telling stories about, um, that affects them, but also having stories that are um, um, leading up to a tragic day. So this is day is, is in 1982, and as you are um, approaching and things are revealed in the story about that particular day, these stories are um, a bit folktale, mystical, um, but there are some, some facts in these stories of things that occurred um, during that time and even years prior that led up to that that um, particular day. So one of the character is called Ma um, Taffy and she is an elderly woman who lost her sight. She's like that grandma for the town, everybody's grandma. And she is telling these stories that are rooted to why the community is the way it is um and these stories also are uh, connected with spirituality and there's, there's a lot of talks on spirituality especially the rastafarian and that connection to that religion is what really stir up a lot of things that was going on in in the story but you are hearing how she how she she's talking about these stories is building up suspense it's building up this this um um, thing that is going to happen and but you don't know why but as the story unfold you're picking up on these stories that she's telling that you thought was just just crazy stories but you're picking up on why those stories were relevant and why did she choose to do um, to tell those story and all these other characters who are now like unfolding their stories and um, also becomes um, a, a circle because all these stories are connected and all these stories is what contributed to the day that all hell broke loose. <laughs> um, but I found that I laugh. It was very authentic how he talks about the um, Jamaican culture and the sayings and the things that the, the old lady said. It was just a typical thing that you hear an old lady will say. And I found myself laughing. But then there's also those moments it's tragic and it's sad that it was poetic, which is actually turns out that this author is an award-winning poet. So the, the writing was amazing. The writing was very um, poetic and beautiful. And I found myself like at ah at certain things that was happening. I found myself when he explained the tragedy, how he, the writing just like completely like, like sucked you in and you just can't believe what you're reading. But at the same time, you know it's sad and you're supposed to feel sad, but you just can't because the words are so like um, beautifully written that you're just like, wow, like he really went there, you know? And I find myself at times um, laughing in moments that I probably shouldn't laugh, but I got it. And because I got it on that aha moment, it became a, a humor aha moment for me. But I would say overall, this, this um, book can be a movie. <laughs> I found that I really, really enjoyed this. I really thought it was well thought of. The author did an amazing job creating these characters. And you found little things about these characters that are um, learning lessons and, and, and um, also survival and that whole, you know, you know, lift your head up, 
and and handle things and also also in a way move on from the things that didn't work out in your life move on from things that aren't quite what you want it to be and i i find that these characters were so stuck in in things from the past that the past and the present collide and a lot of tragic moments came out of that and but i mean this book <laughs> this book took me on a ride and i was enjoying the journey i was a little sad at the end i felt myself wanting to cry because like the book is done i didn't want it to end it was just about i want to say 239 pages of amazing work like this author really surprised me and i definitely think everyone should pick it up so definitely read this five star can't go wrong with this book if you've read it go ahead and comment down below or if you've heard about it you know are you gonna pick it up you know this sort of general discussion on the book um but yeah definitely a lot of suspense a lot of secrets reveal you know it's just everything i just think this book completely will give you all the emotions that you want in a novel that has all this kind of craziness you know sexuality is such a, a big thing in this as well we, you know i talked about the religion um family poverty you know the have and the have not and you know you dealing with all these um cultural influences that that affects you know people life in this particular community so definitely love it again pick it up pick it up <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and have a good day